long time ago in a console generation far, far away. In the era before Disney had enclosed the Star Wars franchise in its icy grip, you could still make a Star Wars game without a billion dollar budget. And the franchise wasn't a divorcee child for the fandom to fight over. One game would rise up to meet the challenge of the times and rip off God of War, but with lightsabers. The Force Unleashed. Strap on the spacesuit of Starkiller, the edgy Sith apprentice of Darth Vader who holds his lightsaber behind him like he thinks he's Naruto, whose obvious character arc is to turn on his master, despite killing half of the galaxy for him first, and who only realizes that this Darth Vader guy might be kind of a prick after the second time he betrays and tries to murder him then takes advantage of the Catholic-style forgiveness of the Jedi to end the story as a hero, instead of being taken to the Galactic Hague to be tried for war crimes. In a narrative clearly designed to give you guilt-free access to force lightning some Jawas. I said sorry, so this is Gucci in the eyes of Jedi Jesus. See you at the fire pyre. Suckers! Warp through the galaxy of Force Unleashed as your wizard daddy Stockholm syndromes you into wiping out the remaining Jedi by tearing your way through the game's many Star Wars-themed hallways, blasting open doorways and flinging objects left and right, and occasionally solving a puzzle where the answer is the same two powers you use the whole game, until you run into the next big set piece or boss fight, or uncover a shiny cube of force points to level up your skills in a stupid video gamey way to quantify the Force that isn't any dumber than midi-chlorians. Uh, now let's be clear, these games are action movie dumb, not prequel dumb. At no point do you receive intel from the owner of a 1950s style diner. <laughs> Choke your way through the endless combat of the Force Unleashed, where hordes of helpless goons constantly run at you, while you casually hurl them one by one off ledges or just force push them into each other to basically just bully them around the level in a goofy psyop style combat sandbox that barely forces you to swing your lightsaber for the first half of the game until the enemies finally become immune to your airbending nonsense and start to meaningfully fight back as the game becomes more challenging and significantly less fun honestly sometimes difficulty is overrated just give me a whole game of the opening where you're Darth Vader throwing Wookiees off cliffs. Take down the game's many bosses in epic battles, where you'll hurl crates at your foes until their life bar depletes, and then mash out a quick time event to actually kill them, some of which are hilariously unfailable. or fight stiff lightsaber duels against the occasional Jedi that, aside from a couple of gimmicks, are way less interesting than any fight in Jedi Academy, a game that came out five years earlier, but at least adds some variety to a game largely about torturing stormtroopers. Seriously, like 90% of your enjoyment of this game is going to be about how funny you think it is to do this to a guy. So light those sabers, and may the fifth be with you because Disney managed to license a whole day with a game that, despite being clearly designed in a boardroom to appeal to teens, is still plenty of mindless fun and is probably in the top 50% of Star Wars video games. They've got a lot of work to do to make up for Masters of Terrascazi. Force was not strong with this one. Starring. Crawling in my skin. Hot fascist girlfriend. Fifty Shades of Vader. Palpatine turned himself into a clone. It was the funniest shit I've ever seen. Why gone blind? Quintessential homicidal droid partner. Jedi Master Munch. Shaktira Shaktira. Sith Lord only fans. This is a lovely room of death. And R.I.P. to a real one. The Force and the Furious. Uh, we would get into the sequel about the clones and how bad it was, but Disney did our job for us and wiped it off the face of the planet. Tell us what you'd like to hear in my honest voice in the comments below. 
You can't just shoot a hole in the surface of Mars! The longer the icon of sin is on Earth, the stronger it becomes. If it bleeds, we can kill it. This is not your grave, but you are welcome in it. I have created over a thousand blades. 